Hello everyone, welcome to the Mimics channel. Um, today's video is going to be a request. Um, I asked in my last video if you could start sending me in ideas of things that you'd like to see. And I have had lots of requests in, so thank you very much. The one that I've chosen to do today is a cat face. Um, this is going to be kind of like a fantasy cat. I'm going to use lilacs and blues um, and pinks just to make it a little bit different. So the first thing we're going to do is take white and loaded it up on half a sponge. I'm using the um, Diamond FX white and this is going to go in the centre of the face. So we're going to cover the nose, the top lip, take it up into the forehead and onto the cheeks. And you kind of want your edges um, to be blended. You don't want a hard white edge, so just blend them out into the face. Okay, so our white's on and it's blended outwards. Now the colour that I'm going to use next is the Grimace Lilac and I've just put it on the other side of the sponge, the same one that I was using, and this one is going to go, it's going to start in the corner of the eye and we're going to use this edge of the sponge to create the top of our cat's ear. So all you do is put it right in the corner and just press it down. And that edge will give us a nice straight line. Still with the same colour, we're going to do um, kind of like, it's, I guess it's like a furry effect that we want. So you're just going to um, kind of drag it, I suppose, this time across the cheeks into the white. Now the last colour we're going to take is um, a, a pale blue. I'm going to use the light blue from Grimace and I've just picked up a clean sponge for this one. And this is just going to outline the, um, the lilac that we've made. So again we're just going to press it down just onto the edge of the lilac. Right, now I've taken a number three, actually a number two round brush, and I've just loaded it up with some Diamond FX Black. And the first line that we're going to do is to outline the top edge of our purple and our blue. So we're going to cut straight through the eyebrow, start right in the corner um, and cut it through. Or if you find it easier to start at the top and bring it down, then of course that's fine as well. From the top of this line, you're just going to outline the blue and bring it into the corner of the eye. Now inside this, we're going to create like a little inner ear. So you just start at the top and do it like a double line down. Now we're going to add some fur to our cat and what we're going to do is start in the middle where we've done this white that blends up into the forehead, we're just going to outline it with a series of flicks and zigzags. You kind of want it to be taller in the middle and then to get shorter around the edge. And then do the same kind of effect around the cheeks, just outline in the blue area. The next thing we're going to do is the muzzle. So it's the same as um, the tiger video that I did. Just outline the, the corner edges of the mouth and you want to flick your lines up towards the nose. And then from the nose you're going to do a straight line down all the way through the top lip.
and then just paint a small triangle on the top lip. While we've still got the black on our brush, I'm just going to add a few whisker dots. Then another nice thing to do, if you're not working on a child that's too little, you can go in and add some eyelashes just to the corner of the eyes. And that's pretty much it for our black. So the next colour I'm going to swap to is the Diamond Effects. Actually, no, it's not. It's the Wolf Red. I'm going to use this colour on the bottom lip. And I'm also going to paint the nose. Now the nose I'm going to do on this cat is a heart shaped nose, so you just paint it right on the very tip. Now the last step that I do, just to finish this face off, is change to some white diamond effects I'm using, and we're just going to basically go over the do the same black lines but just inside them And the last thing I like to do is just add a little shine to the nose. And the last thing to do is just to add some glitter. We're using the Silly Farm Silver Rainbow. And this is just going to go on the outside edge of the face. Here we have our finished fantasy cat. I hope you like this face. Um, thank you very much for watching. Also, if you have any requests, like I said at the start of the video, um, I've been getting quite a few requests through, which is great. Um, keep them coming in. If you can send them to me on Facebook, I'll put my, um, my Facebook page on the bottom here, so you can just click the link and it'll take you straight through. And then send me any requests you've got, or any questions, if you're wondering how I um, did certain things, if you missed a bit, then... Um, yeah, please just let me know and I'll help out as best as I can. Also, if you have a go at this face and you take some photos, I would love to see them. Um, and the best way to do that is if you, if you upload them to your Facebook and then tag me or send them to me in a message, however you want to do it, that'd be great because I'd love to see how everyone's getting on. Um, I'm going to try, like I said again, to do a few more videos. I've started to do them at work, which is where I am now, um, in my princess castle. And um, so yeah, I should be able to get loads more out, which is great. Thank you very much for watching, um, I really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!